villagers, hold on to your sweatpants because it's time for another episode of Quarantine Cocktails with Joel. I'm your host, Joel. <laughs> this is the show where I teach you to make delicious alcoholic beverages with a special immunity boost. Today's episode is Stay Home and Wine About It. <laughs> it's Sangria Week here at Quarantine Cocktails, which means two important things. One, the drinks will be big. Two, the puns will be bad. Not a lot rhymes with sangria, so what would you have me do? Now to make our sangria today, you're gonna need a large pitcher or a large mason jar like I'm using. It needs to hold at least one and a half liters or roughly two large bottles of wine. We are making a red sangria called, you guessed it, stay home and whine about it. To make it, you'll need one bottle of dry red wine. I'm going to Cabernet. You choose whatever your favorite is. Half a cup of triple sec, two ounces of honey syrup, three fourths a cup of brandy, Impossible. half a cup of orange juice, two ounces of lime juice, and additionally, half of an orange, half of an apple, one lemon and one lime, de-seeded de and chopped. Also, last but not least, emergency. We're using two packets today and the flavor is tangerine. So let's get right into it. But first we're going to wash our hands. For those of you out there who still aren't grasping the concept, I have something special just for you. Let's take a look. Hello there. Do you hate washing your hands? Do you struggle with hand soap pumps and faucets? Are your hands too dry and sensitive for your everyday hand washings? Then you need to get over it. We are living through an unprecedented pandemic and washing your hands is your best defense from germs. Great times to wash your hands include after being outside, after using the restroom, before cooking, before eating, and just when it's been a minute. Remember, clean hands, full hearts can't lose, or something. Welcome back. Now let's get into this thing. The first step we're going to take is taking our chopped fresh fruit and putting it into our pitcher or jar. I have already beat you to it. Next, we are going to pour in all of our liquid ingredients except for the wine. Now, because there's so many ingredients, I went ahead and pre-measured everything and I'm gonna pour it all in now. So, we have our half a cup of orange juice, two ounces of lime juice, three fourths cup of brandy. Brandy. Two ounces of honey syrup. And now honey syrup is the same as simple syrup, but instead of sugar, you mix honey and water equal parts. And then half a cup of triple sec. All right, now we have it all together. We're gonna take, take an, our wooden spoon. And mash down and mash down. Getting those fruits. Mashed. That should be good. Next, we're gonna open up our bottle of wine. Ooh. I, since we've been quarantined, decided to start saving my corks during quarantine uh, so I can maybe make something by the end of this. And I think I'm, I'm doing well. So I, I've got a good start to make something. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear about them, but okay. Because we are using our emergency, we're gonna pour about halfway up in our mixing glass. Being with all of our fresh fruit and in such a large uh, container, it's a little hard to fully dissolve two packets of emergency. So we're going to fully dissolve them here. That way we don't have to worry about it once we pour it in. We'll just pour it all in and we'll be good to go. So there's one. And then. know it uh, takes a second to stir in the emergency until it fully dissolves so I'm gonna give this a nice strong stir and I'll be right back when I'm done and we're just about finished here now make sure you really don't skimp on this step 
You don't want the emergency to just settle at the bottom because then when you mix it in, it'll really set at the bottom and you won't get any of it in any of your glasses. So we are fully mixed here and I'm gonna pour what's in my mixing glass into the pitcher like so, followed by, don't miss out on any drops, followed by the rest of the bottle of wine. There we go. Now, carefully, because it is very full, take your wooden spoon and just give it a gentle Stay home and whine about it. Now, if you're ready to grab a drink, grab a wine glass, fill it with some ice, and then we're just gonna pour it right in. Great. Now, remember, you have two days worth of immunity boosting power in this because we use two packets, which is great because this will really only last you 48 hours. So, your assignment is drink half of it today and half of it tomorrow. Or if you're feeling generous, share it with whoever you're quarantined with, if they're of age, and maybe lighten up the mood in that house. We've all been in here for a while. Now, if there's a special cocktail you would like to see, please do not hesitate to let me know. You can write it in the memo line on Venmo when you tip me, at Joel Ingram. You can also write it in the comments below. I hope to see you on Thursday for the second half of Sangria Week. Uh, until then, please drink responsibly. Please like, subscribe, share, follow. It really, really does help immensely. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, and I'll emerge. See you next time. Bye, guys.